Kam naudoti daug lampų, gatvėj lampų, gatvėstų lampų, kai užteks vienos. I'm not allowed to climb this tower. I did ask, but not only does climbing this need proper training and safety equipment, it's also a protected historic site. The folks in charge are, understandably, a bit cautious. But while I can't go up there, the camera and you can. This is a moonlight tower here in Austin, Texas, and it's one of the last surviving moonlight. municipal lighting towers anywhere. Because if you're lighting up a city to keep people safe at night, why have thousands of small lamps down every street when you could have just a few? Very bright, very high. Each tower was intended to provide light equal to that theater. of natural moonlight in an area 1,500 feet from the base. Gerai, nu, čia... Kas jūs inžinierius? Sakyčiau, čia... Išvaizda jo grinai kaip kokio architekto. Very high. Each tower was intended to provide light equal to that of natural moonlight in an area 1500 feet from the base of the tower. Kilometer, and that is light by which somebody could read the face of their watch. These lighting systems were all throughout the Midwest and all throughout the West. When these towers were installed in 1894, they used carbon arc lamps, the first practical electric lights. Those lamps Ai, were literally the controlled the electrical arcing, a constant spark shooting through the air between two carbon electrodes. These days, if you're seeing that kind of harsh white light at this scale, it's usually because there's a fault with something big and electrical, and there's a short in the system. This was the same effect, just deliberate. The catch is that the electrodes on carbon arc lamps are steadily vaporized, wearing down as they're worn away by the spark, so they burn out quickly. And the city had to pay someone to climb every tower every day to replace every the day? The city of Austin Electric oh. Utility, and as we know it today, Austin Energy started with the moonlight towers. Every night, a utility... I imagine that every day I have to pay for these lamps. Ir, ir aš nesupratau, nu, nėra iš tų laikų turbūt video, kaip jos veikia akšeli, nu, kaip ten pasakė, eidavo tas baltas, nu, grinai elektra, kur matyt gali, kol, nu, galų gali sudegdavo tas lempus iš esmės, bet tai, o garso nebūdavo, tada jos labai garsiai, nors 500 metrų viršui gal tas garsas net nedaidavo ten iki žemės. <laughs> employee would go up through this elevator pulley system through the middle of the tower and go light these carbon arc lamps. So so this system, seni. There's this little thing for the employee to stand in and then you have workers on the ground who are hoisting him up. They're going up potentially 165 feet in don't know when hard hats came into play, but when you look at older pictures, right, our safety equipment is not as it is today. So then in the 1920s, they switched to incandescent bulbs. And in 1936, it was the mercury vapor lamps. And today we're using LED bulbs. And it's a little bit easier to get up there and exchange the parts. So we're using cranes and bucket trucks to get up to make those changes. If ever there was a subject designed for vertical video, it's this one. Most cities took their towers down as electric street lighting became possible. For some unknown reason, Austin never got round to it. But they've not all been preserved. There's only about a dozen towers still standing. Not all oh, of them are in the same place as they used to be. And in 1993, the city took them all apart, refurbished them, and put them back up again. As for what they look ah, like okay. when they're switched on, well, for that, we'll need to wait until after sunset. I get it. Austin, the only city in the <laughs> United States that still has functioning moon towers. Before the moonlight towers were put up around town, it was dark. Moon could only do so much. And so it really changed people's lives. I think it allowed them to keep businesses open after dark, which would increase commerce. People could you know, enjoy themselves, with friends and family, and also get home safely. Moonlight towers oh. became in town for light after dark, you know, in, in parallel with the moon. Oh, itself. And these towers clearly, oh, you know, in, in parallel with the moon itself. Actually, it's very normal that you Holy fuck. Okay, it's going to be Of course. And these towers clearly work because, well, look at me, I've, I've got a shadow. Although, admittedly, I am standing right next to it. The name Moonlight Towers isn't just poetic. 31 of these towers were spread around what was then a much smaller and lower city before skyscrapers came along. That meant that, except for some dark corners, most of the town would be lit up as if there was a full or maybe... Lema tie žmonės, kur tuo metu gyvena, žinai, ir pastatė tokią, kur, nu, jie neturi, gal neturėjo, žinai, kažkokių ten ypatingų lempų arba dar kažką, nu, toks... Dabar nestandartinis, tada, kai jie tokį, vat, nu, pastatė, tai gal visai standartinis, jiems buvo, žinai, 
Bet kaip pirmus kartus apskritai gatvėse įjungė lempos, nu ar tokios didelės, žinai, ir tas gatvinės kažkokios padarė, ir žmonėm realiai padarė šiuo kad ir naktį pažiūrėjai būtų ir panašiai. Kaip įdomu žmonės įjautės tada? Kai, kaip jie žiūrėjai tą tokį, ar tuometinius politikus gyrė, kad tipo zaibis padarė šviesą mums įjungėt, jūs literali Jėzus ar ten kas, let there be light, bet jo... Magia. Maybe a half moon. Not that bright, but enough that you could see your way around. Hence, Moonlight Tower. It's artificial moonlight. Although turns out there's not much evidence for that name being used until the mid-20th century, when historical preservation became fashionable and these towers became an icon of Austin. They were not called Moonlight Towers from the beginning. They, the Austin newspapers just called these the towers. Oh. There were no other towers first reference that I found in a newspaper to these being called yeah, Moonlight Towers was 1938. In the early 1960s, the masthead of the Austin newspaper had the phrase, as Austin as. The phrase changed each day where the newspaper was comparing itself to other icons in the city of Austin. And in then July 1962, the masthead said, as Austin as, Moonlight Towers. They have become a symbol of Austin. And every holiday season, one of those moonlight towers in Zilker Park gets used to put up hundreds of lights that Dar. look like a holiday tree. And you, know, and you sit around and you look up and you get dizzy and you feel like Austin is just the best place to be. <laughs> There are modern versions of these towers for places like giant parking lots. Sometimes it is just better to stick a big light on a pole. In most cases, though, modern lighting is a much better choice because every street got wired up to the grid anyway. Although that does mean in the 21st century, it's difficult to imagine what a city lit just by moonlight towers would feel like. These days, there's too much other light around from every house, every building. On a night with low cloud, the sky glow from light pollution can be brighter than the old towers would be, at least brighter they would be at a distance. These aren't street lighting anymore. They're historic artifacts. Kept running because, well, because the people of Austin like them. Skinkman is mean. 